Hello everyone and welcome to Resenha BJJ In today's video guys, let's explain some different shoulder locks Probably you know, but because the name is so similar, you don't know what you're talking about So guys, let's break it down Omo plata, tarico plata, mono plata and baraco plata In today's video guys, let's see everything for you never forget anymore And if you already like the subject of the video guys, please don't forget to leave a like Subscribe here on the channel, leave in the comment below what the other positions you want to see and for you to understand better the difference between either position, guys, we're gonna start everything by close guard. These positions can happen anywhere, but if you focus just on one, maybe you can understand a little bit better. So, guys, let's start with the first one, my favorite one, omoplata. So, guys, I get my opponents on close guard and let's apply the omoplata. Again, guys, this position is not to show the best omoplata in the world, but for you to understand the difference of shoulder locks. So, let's start here. Look, for the first step, well, I apply my omoplata, usually I hold my opponent's hand across, and I want to drive my head all the way to the my opponent's feet, and my legs are gonna kick above Catherine's head and drive exactly here where my head should be. So, I pull her arm, I move it to the side, I open my guard, I keep in turning, and look, my legs pass over her head and go where my head should be. Here, guys, it's really important. I get up faster. I want to sit up faster. Why? Because I don't want my opponents to roll over. And for, for blocking my opponents to roll over, what am I gonna do? I pass my hands, I ride my opponent's hips or my opponent's back to block my opponent to do a front shoulder roll. This, I will lock down my plantar position. Now, guys, let's see here one important detail, or another important detail for the setup of the plata. My opponent's hand cannot be straight over here because here I don't have a shoulder lock. For I apply my shoulder lock, I have to drive my opponent's hands here inside of my hips. You see how I kind of lock like a finger four from my legs? They're just to better control and keep it blocking my opponent's triceps to don't slide anywhere. So here I want to get them really tight. And if I submit my opponent, what I had to do, guys? I had to move my opponent's hand forward and I do this with my hips, but I'm gonna show you here with my hands. So with my hips, I want to move Catherine's hand forward to make my opponent tap. So before I do this with my hips, get it tight, sometimes I like to go over here just to help me get up, and here I move my opponent's hands forward, make this rotation. So look here, omoplata, you can stay here Catherine, omoplata, I want to turn my opponent's 90 degrees, and with my hips, I will rotate on this position here for my opponent's head. So that's how omoplata is set up. Lock, hand, and here I'm going up to get my omoplata. So guys, let's start the second position, the monoplata. And for, again, you can understand better, let's apply the omoplata, the, the position we see before, for you can understand. So basic, when I apply the omoplata, Catherine's gonna roll over, gonna escape, and then we keep going for the monoplata. So, hold my opponent's hand ac across, I go to the feet, I move my opponent's roll over. Now, me and Catherine are gonna stop, we're gonna adjust the position for you can see better. But before you do this, Look here what I do, I keep and hold my opponent's wrist, or I can keep and hold my opponent's front arm, I don't want to lose this arm, okay Catherine? So, let's move in for the side, please, 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 please. So, we stop exactly over here for understand. Now, what I'm gonna do guys, I keep and hold the arm, and I'm gonna do a step back, almost like I go to mount position my opponent. So look, I do a full step back to almost mount, keeping this arm, you guys, close inside of my hip. So I'm gonna move it here for a second more time. I keep and hold the arm like I said before. I pull and here I keep and hold my opponent. Now guys, with this leg here, again, I'm gonna pass across, but now this time on my opponent's face to my opponent's armpit. So look, I pass this leg exactly over here and always keeping this arm tight on my ribs. I don't want my opponent to straight this arm and get it free. I want to keep this arm exactly over here. And for to help me do this, I can bring my knee a little bit up and just block the tricep over here. Now let's apply the shoulder lock, the monoplata. How this position work, guys? You see, I'm not like a sit down on the ground, I'm not in mount position, I'm, I'm kind of flying away over here. I want to keep and hold, like I said before, all the time. I'm gonna bring this knee towards my chest, and at the same time, I want to sit down on the ground 
almost to move my hips for this position here. So good, look. I'm gonna bring this knee up and I'm gonna almost sit down on the ground to a twist my opponent's shoulder. I'm gonna take it off my leg here and I use my hands for you to see what happened on Catherine's arm. So, when I bring my knee up, I bring her tricep. And when I almost sit down, her hands go to this position here to make my opponent set. Of course, with my legs set up on this position here, the positions have way smooth. And you see, when I bring my knee up, I make Catherine expose her back and kind of have a more angle to a twist on my opponent getting him or her on monoplata. And guys, if you want to make his MBJJ grow, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe here on the channel. And also to you guys, if you're looking for nice rush guards and shorts for do no gi, don't forget to go to famingsfc.com and don't forget to use our coupon code HESEN to get the $5 off on your order. And guys, for gear lovers, sooner they're gonna have a nice gifts for you. So don't forget to check it out. All right, guys, now let's go to the third position, Tariko Plata. And guys, Tariko Plata is based on Kimura, where I can use my legs to help me. So let's see here the, just the basic and then I show how the position looks like, all right? So Kimura, everybody knows, I'm gonna lock over here and my opponents sometimes dive their, their hand inside the stomach or block it anyway, I cannot do it. And for I do this, for I do Tariko Plata, I'm gonna use my legs. But before I show you, I have a one easy tip for you right now. On the end, guys, for Tadiko Plata, I had to switch the hand of my grip for my back knee. So basic, I had to do this position. And for be easy to save, look, if I'm holding my opponents with my right hand, that means my right leg, my right uh, knee, knee pit is gonna lock my opponents over here. That's easy for you. But before we do this, we have to do all the things you're gonna explain now. So, again, I'm gonna lock my opponent's Akimura, my opponent's block. Before, guys, I grab my opponent's wrist with my leg, I had to pass my other leg above my opponent's head. Sometimes my opponents are too tight over here, so I need a little extra power to move my leg freedom. So look, I like to put my opponent, my, my foot on my opponent's hips, just to help me shift a little bit, or hips kick a little bit, and pass my leg above my opponent's head. And you see here, I start isolate the arm. I block my opponent's head to come towards me, and also to apply pressure on my opponent's back. At the same time, I have the Kimura over here. Now, Kevin, can you rotate a little bit more so people can see? So look, I still lock my Kimura. If I'm the close guard, it's easy. I just had to pass and lock over here. But I'm gonna give another trick for you. If, for example, you get the Kimura on the half guard, you already pass your leg over here, and you want to pass your leg to grab my opponent's wrist. How I do this? Look, I'm gonna put my head on the ground, and I start moving my knee on the ground over here to be on this position. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drive my foot all the way out and lock here my Tariko Plata. Now, guys, you see how I lock? I use my kneecap to hold my opponent's front arm. And guys, one important detail. I want you to do on the, exactly on almost the middle of my opponent's front arm. Why? Because if I do really close by my opponent's wrist, my opponent just can bend the wrist and escape easier. So I don't want you this. I want you to keep it tight enough here for my opponent to go nowhere. And of course, you already see my other hand is a hold on my opponent on my own tie. And here for a split my opponent, I just have to twist my hips for the other side and start to kick my arm on the forward uh, for the direction of my opponent's head to uh, take the submission. So let's see here one more time, Captain, just and on another angle for people can see better. So look, I was holding my Kimura, I had my leg outside, I blocked with my leg, and here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move exactly over there, and I'm gonna kick my leg. So look, the same thing as Kimura. Same position as Kimura, but with Tariko Plata, I do with my leg. And guys, for the last position, I see the Barako Plata. If you see the Tariko Plata is a Kimura I do with my legs, Barako Plata is a Kimura I do with my crouch. And guys, 
Before I do this, look, I had to drive my, my opponent's hand on the center of me. Why? Because after here, I want to drive my opponent's hand inside of my leg. And the position don't work if my opponent holds the hand on the ground or hold on me. So look, I hold my opponent's hand and I bring inside of me. So it can be anywhere. But you see the grip I'm doing? Look, my thumb out, or point out and I grab over here. At the same time, I pull, I look, I bring my other hand underneath my opponent's armpit to help on my leverage and I lock a Kimura. So you see over here is like almost inverse and Kimura. Drive my, my opponent's hand inside of my crouch or between my legs as deep I can because this is really important. After I see everything's in place, I can let it go and lock it here. I really make a choke on my opponent's shoulder or maybe I can lock a really make a choke and hold my opponent's neck just so my opponent cannot post wrap. If my opponent can post wrap over here, maybe my opponent can slide the arm or his arm out. So I had to keep really tight here for this arm to go nowhere. Now guys, I will open my guard and I like the Tarico Plata, I will pass my leg above my opponent's neck. So I can over here pass over my opponent's neck and at this point here, I do not lock my leg. I don't lock my feet. I want to keep the pressure on my opponent. I want to keep, look, almost the same angle we did the Tarico Plata. So my leg over here, I keep and hold my tie. And for this position work, guys, I just have to move my hip a little bit out and with my hip or with my foot on my opponent's hip, I can twist and bring my opponent's elbow down and my hip, guys, go all the way to this way here, to the other way up, so I can twist my opponent's uh, shoulder. So if I let it go everything, how's it work? Because my hands are pushing my opponent's tricep down, and my hips is slide all the way to that position, that's what happened with my opponent's arm. Exactly this position. So let's repeat here for you can see better. Look, her hand is up, locked and stuck on my crouch. My leg is up over her head. And here, look, my hand, my foot, sorry, my foot on her hips help me to drive my hips off the ground. So let's move it here a little bit, Captain for people can see my hips. So look, I hold. And here, I can also chew, sometimes hold my opponent's leg just to help me look here to my hips to get my baraco plata. And guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And if you want to see more techniques explained in the same style as this video, let us know in the comments what you want to see next. And I see you on the next video.